Well, childhood obesity is a growing problem. It's been growing, in fact, at alarming rates in America. According to the CDC, nearly one out of every five kids and adolescents is considered obese and roughly 6% are considered severely obese. In response, the American Academy of Pediatrics is issuing new guidelines for treating childhood obesity. It's a wide ranging update, but one aspect in particular is stirring up controversy. Medication for children as young as 12 and weight loss surgery for kids as young as 13. Hey everybody, I hope you're all having an amazing holiday season. I have some super exciting news. Oakland County native Maeve Everett's weight loss journey has made her a TikTok star. I posted one video on TikTok less than a year ago today and it kind of blew up overnight. Racking up more than 25 million likes. What got you started on this journey? I think just the motivation to be healthy and actually feel better about myself. Maeve says weight has been a struggle for as long as she can remember. It was during COVID lockdown that she focused on eating better and moving more. Main thing to your health is what you put in your body is food. As much as you work out, you can't over exercise a bad diet. According to the CDC, nearly 15 million American children are obese. In response, the American Academy of Pediatrics put out new guidelines for the first time in more than a decade. Commonly, we may see type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure cardiovascular disease. Dr. Zina al Rafabe is a pediatrician with Shelby Pediatric Associates in Shelby Township and an expert in obesity medicine. She says the guidelines focus mostly on lifestyle management, but when that fails, suggest the use of medicine and pediatric weight loss surgery for kids as young as middle school. We want to try to make a bigger effort at working with families earlier and trying to prevent these things from happening. But the use of medicine or permanent surgery for children is drawing sharp criticism. Some say the guidelines are, quote, barking up the wrong tree. Others say these recommendations set me on fire. I worry the new focus will lead to eating disorders. It's not as easy as weight equals health. Dr. Jamie Taylor is director of adolescent medicine at Beaumont Children's. She says she has seen unhealthy ideal weight patients and healthy patients with larger bodies. She's concerned about making permanent changes to still developing children. Especially those as young as 12 and 13 years old, many of them have not completed the pubertal process. She says weight loss surgery can change how children get the nutrients they need to grow and using medicine for weight loss is a long-term commitment. Sticky issues to be sorted out by the patient, provider, and guardian, according to clinical ethicist Abram Brummett. It's ultimately the parents that are they're going to have the legal authority uh, to to uh, you know give permission for these kinds of invasive procedures. Social media star Mabe is keeping up with the lifestyle changes that made her a viral sensation, inspired by helping others and a desire to live a longer life. I want to prove it to my old self that I can keep doing it. And now, Maeve says the support of her family has been key. And all of the healthcare experts I spoke to in this story say medication or weight loss surgery is only used to counterbalance the long term negative implications and complications of obesity. And they say lifestyle choices like the ones made by Maeve are always the first step in weight loss management. I want to thank Maeve for sharing her story and being so open with us about her journey.